This troubleshooting process addresses a no flush, weak or sluggish flush, and water that runs on and will not shut off. These conditions can be caused by debris in the lower supply, low water pressure from the water supply, a malfunctioning cartridge assembly, or an actuator out of adjustment. The troubleshooting procedures are the same regardless of the Flushmate model. For these conditions, check the water supply line pressure. Insufficient water pressure can prevent the cartridge from sealing or the vacuum breaker to leak. You can determine if you have enough water pressure by shutting off the water, flushing the unit, and then disconnecting the water supply from the Flushmate. Place the end of the water supply line into a bucket and turn the water supply on for 30 seconds. You should have more than one gallon of water in the bucket after the 30 seconds. If the water pressure is okay, and before you reconnect the water line, check the inlet to make sure there is no debris on the screen inside the water supply inlet shank. If any debris is found, remove the screen and clean the debris off the screen. Once this has been completed, reconnect the water supply to the Flushmate, turn the water supply back on, let the Flushmate tank refill, and flush. Make sure the actuator is adjusted correctly. The push button or actuator rod can interfere with the actuator and prevent the cartridge from sealing. Too much clearance can also cause an incomplete flush. If your Flushmate unit flushes by depressing the adjuster down, the problem is usually the linkage installation. Refer to installation instructions for details on adjusting the actuator, or as mentioned earlier in the video. If the problem still persists, check the air inducer to make sure air is being drawn into it. The air inducer should draw air for two to four seconds at the start of the refill cycle. At the beginning of the refill cycle, air will be drawn into the flush mate for two to four seconds. This is not a very loud sound and sometimes difficult to hear. To verify air draw, it is best to cover the hole on the top of the air inducer cap with a few drops of water. Flush the toilet. You should be able to see the water being drawn in when the unit is flushed. If no water is being drawn in, turn off the water supply and flush the toilet. Unscrew the air inducer cap and remove the duckbill valve from inside the cap to remove any obstructions. No tools are required, as this cap should only be finger tight. Check the duckbill valve for any damage, including missing or uneven surfaces. If the duckbill valve shows signs of degradation or deterioration, replacement is required. Once this is complete, Insert the duckbill valve into the air inducer housing and replace the air inducer cap, making sure no tools are used, as the cap should be finger tight only. An over tight cap will cause the duckbill valve to twist inside the cap and not operate correctly. Turn the water supply to the toilet back on and let the flushmate vessel refill. Flush the toilet and listen for the air being drawn into the flushmate unit. If the problem still persists and the upper supply is not damaged, proceed to the cartridge troubleshooting portion of the video. If either the air inducer or the vacuum breaker portion of the upper supply assembly is damaged, it is best to replace the entire upper supply.